During those proverbial five minutes in which Donald Trump seemed to think he was off the hook thanks to William Barr's disingenuous summary of the still-secret Mueller report, Trump repeatedly lashed out at House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff. After all, Schiff had spent significant time pointing out the publicly available evidence that the Trump campaign colluded with Russia and Barr falsely claimed that Trump was exonerated on collusion. But now Donald Trump appears to have figured out that he's still in real and worsening trouble, and accordingly, he seems to have figured out that Schiff isn't the only threat to him. Trump focused in on House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler today, criticizing Nadler by name for wanting to see the entire Mueller report. Trump then circled back again later to whine that there is no amount of testimony or document production that can satisfy Jerry Nadler or Shifty Adam Schiff. Dot of course Trump's Twitter meltdown came after the House Judiciary Committee revealed on Monday that it's holding a vote on Wednesday morning to hand unilateral subpoena power to Jerry Nadler with regard to the Mueller report. In Palmer Report's view, the only reason to do this is because Nadler is planning to fire off a large number of subpoenas in rapid fashion and he doesn't want to have to hold yet another vote each time. No wonder Donald Trump's tweets now suggest that he views Jerry Nadler as an even bigger threat than Adam Schiff. Even as Schiff prepares to lead the charge in exposing the Trump-Russia scandal, it's Nadler who is leading the charge in forcibly bringing the Mueller report to the surface. This is in addition to Elijah Cummings taking the lead on Trump's security clearance scandal and Maxine Waters taking the lead on Trump's international financial scandals. Trump is rapidly finding himself outnumbered 